So what we're looking at here is uh, a JSON object that is going to be formatting a field. And it looks like maybe a lot of content there. And at the end of the day, all this content does is it creates a yellow background with an exclamation icon. So let me break this down for you so you can kind of understand uh, what this JSON object is doing. So what it's saying is that it is going to create a div on the page when this div is where all of your content is gonna live. And it's saying, if the current field is less than or equal to 70, apply a class of field severity warning. And that gives it the yellow background. That field severity warning is a baked in class that we can use to apply to our columns. And then it's saying, if the current field is less than or equal to 70, I want to use the icon, create an icon that is the icon named error. And then that's what's showing that uh, icon for us. And then it's just saying, hey, display whatever the current field is. And that's why it's displaying the 70. And this is pretty much the structure of everything that the column formatter is doing. You're gonna have your uh, elements, you're gonna have your attributes, are you gonna be doing, you know, applying classes, you're gonna have a button, and then you're gonna have your icons and that sort of thing. So we're gonna, again, go through this some more and break this down, but this is kind of a, an example of one that is a, a few things. And again, just to do the 70, yellow background and exclamation point icon. You, you can also use what's called Excel, Excel style expression syntax. So this does a lot of the same thing as the last one, but instead it's just using the syntax here for setting the color. Um, so if you're more comfortable in that format, you can, it's an option. So the way this column formatter works is that it's taking whatever's in that column and it is replacing it by what is specified in that JSON object. And what it does, it re replaces it with a type of HTML element. And then there's you're saying, what is the content for this HTML element? So this is, this is a complete JSON object for the column formatter, but all it's saying is, I want you to use a div, so a place whatever is dis being displayed in that column with a div, and then put the value of that div as whatever the current field is. So theoretically, this isn't doing much at all. Um, but just so we can see all this stuff working, let's go ahead and actually use this within our list. So if we go for our title field here, I'll just actually choose over here, choose the title field, click on advanced mode, and now I'm just gonna paste that in there. And when I click on preview, you should see the text shift a little bit because we've changed the element that's been um, put in there. You just see it shift. And if we open up our developer tools, this is where we, you know, maybe getting to be a little devy, I can actually move my mouse over this field and look at the HTML and it actually says that it created a div there with the class of SP field custom, custom formatter. So that's what got generated on the page by me creating that JSON element, uh, JSON object. So it just created a div and it put the value of that yeah. div in there. So for fields like uh, people fields, these are not simple text fields. So you can't just say, show me the value of the field. If I take the same uh, JSON object and I go to the assign to field and I go to advanced mode and then just copy and paste that in there and do a preview, it's turning to object, object, object because the, the actual thing being displayed, the current field is not text it's it is an object so you have to um, access the property of the object that you're showing there and the options for like a person field you can get the id of the person the title of the person the email of the person 
um, the picture of the person, department, and job title. So you can specify, like for some reason you want to show something specific about the person field other than their name, uh, you can use one of those properties. So if I wanted to show my email instead of my name in that field, I could just come over here and instead of saying current field, I would say current field dot email. So current field dot email. And then when I preview that, it's now showing the email addresses for all the people instead of uh, just the name of the person.